What's up, Heat fans? It is Ernest back again with another Miami Heat video. Uh, before we move this forward, guys, come on and show this page some love. Let's hit that like button. Uh, comment, let me know what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Let's build this page high as we can. And uh, hit that notification bell. To... How we doing, Heat fans? It is your boy, Ernest, and I am back again with another Miami Heat video. Uh, guys, let's show this page some love. Y'all know the drill. Let's hit that like button, comment, show some support on the page, share on your social media platforms, let all of your Miami Heat friends know about this page, uh, hit that subscribe button, let's grow this channel, hit that notification bell, let's go ahead and get all the updates. Um, thank you guys so much for the support. And with that said, let's go off again to another Miami Heat adventure. Uh, hope everybody had a great weekend, guys. Um, uh, not uh, not a great weekend for the Miami Heat, guys. You know, I'm kind of fumbling the words over here, but I really can't put it into words how we've gone these last three games. Um, we pretty much crapped the bed against Atlanta. Then we beat Chicago by five points. Then last night, we lose to Chicago, 110 to 102. Guys, I can't tell you how frustrating these losses are. These should have been three straight victories. The Miami Heat should have been sixth seed fighting for that fourth place, which is what we belong. But, you know, we're, we're showing this lackluster style of our game where we have these little boosts of sprints that we show from last season. And then, like, it looks like everybody's lost and everybody's having these terrible games. And then every game, it seems like somebody else is out. You know, Tyler Hero and Kendrick Nunn is out. And that's pretty much been this 2021 season for the Miami Heat since the beginning of the season. It has been an injured, riddled season. Uh, I can't, I don't think there's been one point this season where we've had this team at 100% health. But, you know, we don't complain. That's not what you can do in the NBA. You can complain you can bitch you can moan or you can move forward and you can get the next man up mentality and that's what i saw from this game from a few of the players uh there were guys like gabe vincent going out there and doing everything that he can hustle diving for the ball taking charges uh stealing getting possession you got Dwayne deadman busting down the boards he played like 15 minutes he got like 8.6 rebounds um so you're seeing these guys doing their job um it's going to take this team being fully healthy for us to reach our full potential. That's an obvious thing to say, but it's something that needs to be said. Um, I don't want anybody thinking because of what we've done this season that last year was a fluke. Um, we were as good as we were because we had a fully healthy squad. I strongly feel that with a fully healthy spot squad, especially come playoff time, I don't care where we are in the seating, we are going to be a scary team to play. Mark my words. Um, but look, we're right now sitting at 32 and 30. We're seventh in the Eastern Conference. That's pretty much where we've been hovering for the last two weeks. Um, we're two games down from the fourth seed, so it's not impossible. But now there's 10 games left in the season, so it's becoming harder and harder. Um, which was once something I felt that was going to be easily attainable for the Heat, is now becoming a reach. Uh, so you need to go on a run specifically now um tomorrow we have the san antonio spurs uh we beat them last time but they could be playing for revenge they're still trying to go for it too so all these games are going to be really important and especially how we've been doing these last three games none of these games are going to be easy wins for the heat i feel and what sucks is that in this game especially this last game against the bulls we were right there man the miami heat was doing a little comeback we were going back and forth we were down by seven with like two three minutes left we came back jimmy steals the ball runs down the court jimmy has a wide open layup with his right hand and he misses and man that was like the biggest gut punch for miami Heat fans it was bad but we have to move forward in this game against San Antonio, it's a very important win. Here's why. We are a half a game down from the sixth seed. Boston right now sits at 32 and 29. We sit at 30 at 30, 32 and 30. So we need this win. Bad. And then after San Antonio, after that, our final 10 games is San Antonio, Cleveland, 
Charlotte, Dallas. We have the, the Minnesota Timberwolves after that. We got a Boston back-to-back. -back. Then we got the 76ers, the Bucks, and the Pistons. This is not an easy matchup. And how we've been doing all year, guys, we've been fluttering in the 500 mark. So it looks like with all expectations, Miami will probably go five and five, maybe uh, four and six, six and four. That's where we've been hovering all year. Now, if we want to make a breakaway to this fourth seed, it's imperative that the Miami Heat go seven and three, eight and two. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be thinking it's not it, it, that, that there's no way that can happen, but it is possible. Why is it possible? It's because this game against San Antonio, it looks like we're going to get players healthy back. Tyler Hero and Kendrick Nunn were not on the injury report. Neither was Duncan Robinson, who left the game against Chicago early. So that's a good sign. We need this team as healthy as possible. And with that said, it all relies on Victor Oladipo. Because we traded for Oladipo. We traded the chemistry of this team, and we lost Kelly Olynyk, who was having his best season with Miami. By losing Kelly Olynyk, you're losing 12 points a game, six rebounds, and it shows. Kelly was the perfect fit with Bam and Abayo. They developed the chemistry together. You trade it for Victor Oladipo, he gets hurt. Now we're struggling down low. Now we lose that presence. So it's imperative that Victor comes back. I said it a couple weeks ago. We need Victor back the last 10 games of the season. He's not playing against San Antonio tomorrow. So this is a problem. Because we need to push this team as far as we can, and we cannot do that without Victor. So it's all going to rely on the shoulders of Victor Oladipo and how far we can go. We can go pretty far without him. The chances are there. But without Kelly Olenek, our bench is a little weaker. So we need to have all hands on deck ready for the playoffs, guys. Um, you know, right now Miami's sacrificing in that play uh, that play in tournament for the playoffs. Uh, the seeds between the seventh and the tenth seed. Uh, they're going to have a play-in tournament. So you don't want to be that if you're the Miami Heat, especially when you have players like Goran Dragic, Andre Iguodala, and um, Trevor Ariza. They're all 35 and up. They're not old, but you don't want them to play games they don't need to be playing. You need them ready. And speaking of, speaking of Trevor Ariza, I feel like I'm talking up this guy every video because he's just getting better and better. The dude drops 18 points in the last game. He's really doing his thing. I'm loving Trevor Ariza with this team. He is solidifying himself as a great number four alongside Bam and Abayo. But I will tell you this, guys. With how we're doing this season, I'm pretty sure that you appreciate guys like Jay Crowder and a guy like Derrick Jones Jr. a lot more. Because Derrick Jones Jr. was a key defensive hustler off our bench last year. The guy gave you 15 to 20 minutes off the bench, but he did his thing. He locked down some of the best players. He went ahead and had a, amazing dunks out there. And the dude can offensive rebound like a beast. You lose that. You lose Jay Crowder, and you see what that does to you. It's not just superstars, guys. It's great role players that do their part. And like I've said before, and I'll say it again, here in the Miami Heat, we turn good players into great players. Can't say it better myself. So, guys, um, stay the course. We got to stay positive. We got to stay there for our team. This is our Miami Heat team. We are Heat Nation, and we must stand up. These last 10 games of the season are very crucial. Playoffs are around the corner, guys. I'm excited. I'm ready for playoff basketball. It's some of the best thing to watch in the NBA. I'm crazy excited about it. Hopefully, I can get a ticket for one of the games. That's my goal. I'm going to try my best to make it happen. So, guys, let's go ahead and hear what you think. Um, how do you feel about the last 10 games of the season? I want everybody, all of the fans out there, the last 10 games of the season, I want to hear your prediction. How do you think the Miami Heat will do? I predict a finish of 7-3. and three. I think with the 7-3, and three, we're going to have a good shot to compete for the fourth seat. So, that's my prediction. I want to hear from you guys. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the love. Let's grow this channel. Hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all know what to do. And until next time, it is your boy Ernest out. And that's enough said.